something uh, that I think is very near and dear to the hearts of uh, ALL investigators across the U.S., uh, and that is the role of MRD or, or uh, measurable residual disease testing to guide decisions as they relate to therapy. One of the problems we have is we're still using an outdated set of criteria for uh, uh, addressing response. That is, we're using a morphologic response criteria, less than 5% blast is consistent with a CR. In this era of clonoseq and multi-parameter flow and you know, even um, patient-specific PCRs for diagnosing uh, measurable disease down to 1 times 10 to the minus 6, should we really be using that same terminology? That is, is a CR with MRD a CR? Does that make any sense? I don't think so. In fact, I would argue very strongly that it, that it doesn't. Uh, you may argue that there was some cytoreduction. Call that a PR if you'd like. But a CR with MRD is not a CR. Uh, a CR with MRD negativity, on the other hand, is showing, uh, at least me, that I have an agent that's very powerful or a multi-agent regimen that's very powerful in driving uh, a deep remission. And, and that's the kind of agent that I want to invest in moving forward. When we talk about phase one trials, when we talk about phase two trials, we need to acknowledge this. We need to acknowledge that MRD, or measurable residual disease, really is the threshold for response, not a morphologic assessment. And so I think that's something that could potentially come out of this meeting, uh, meaning I think that in hearing this data and hearing how powerful measurable residual disease is in driving uh, prognosis and even decisions as they may relate to transplant or the use of novel therapies, uh, we should be able to come up with some uh, new consensus definitions around this. If you have, call it one times 10 to the minus four, which has been kind of the basement that we've set for the past several years, uh, and if you have less than that, I would call that a CR. If you have anything higher than that, call it up to 5% blast, I would actually argue that is a PR, or perhaps a PR with MRD, or something along those lines, but I think keeping it simple is better. If you have more than 5% residual lymphoblasts after therapy, I'm, I'm going to ask, I would ask my colleagues, is that an agent that you're excited about? Is, you know, even if they started, let's say, with uh, 80% blast, if you got down to 20% blast or 30% blast, are you excited about that agent? I mean, I don't, I'm not. But again, I'm one investigator, and, and I would want to, to hear that from, from other people. I would say in, this, in those same lines, is a CR, meaning a morphologic CR with incomplete platelet recovery, a meaningful definition in acute lymphoblastic leukemias? Again, I would argue that probably not. Alternatively, I would argue that a CR with incomplete platelet recovery that is MRD negative actually probably is a meaningful CR. And so we can get away from these definitions that reflect the fact that we just didn't have the sensitivity to detect that disease.